Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dread Delusion. A uh, very interesting game just came out, just had its 1.0 release. Um, people are describing this. They're comparing it to like the exploration feel of Morrowind and such games like that. And that just really intrigued me. This The art style, very weird, very cool, in my opinion. I love this retro kind of clockwork garbage, <laughs> some people would call it, but not me. Um, so there was a cutscene that played at the beginning, and I'm going to be playing that here in a second. But what the hell is Lovely Hell Place? Oh, it just sends me to... Okay. Twitter. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> okay, let's jump right in. Let's actually take a look at the controls. Nothing. Yeah, nothing too crazy there. Let's jump right in. Our world is long since shattered, but hope still flickers in our darkest dreams. Few would guess that our fate would be decided upon the Oneric Isles an almost forgotten archipelago of the southern sky realms. On these uncanny islands, the apostatic union, power drunk after slaughtering their once exalted gods, maintains but a paltry presence. Under their negligent gaze, the deep forests and dark places teem with cutthroats, cultists, and worse. In the desolate, endless realm, poor souls languish undying in decrepit mausoleums, yearning for their lost mortality. While the Clockwork Kingdom, ruled by the crooked logic of its manufactured monarch, strives to transform not just the realm, but reality itself. All these regions have their part to play in this unfolding story. But it begins fathoms below in the Underlands, a ruinous wasteland where none can draw breath for long. It is here that a secret waits to be uncovered by someone whose dreams burn brighter than any. But will those dreams kindle into a radiant destiny? Or will we burn in the folly of delusion? The world was long ago broken, its surface cursed. You are a dweller of the Sky Realms, drifting islands that cradle the last of human civilization. Here, in the dank cell of an Inquisition ship, you ruminate on your past. Oh, classic opening. Dreams of childhood Ooh. slip through your mind. Was your fate sealed even then? Okay, so we got Brawler, Urchin, Apprentice, and Noble. I'm leaning towards this just because... Hold on, let me read this. It increases your regen rate, govern the charm and barter skills, wisdom increases maximum mana, increases maximum stamina. Okay, so basically we've got Warrior, Rogue, Mage, and then charisma <laughs> and then like uh any fallout game pretty much um i might be leaning towards the urchin here increases your maximum stamina and stamina and governs lockpick and agility skills which pretty good i i think these guys are gonna be using bows which i'm all about so let's go urchin the body the mind oh. sharpened. For a while, you excelled. Hold the fuck up. Oh, hold on. Dreams do each of these grew. have different ones? The oh my god, the they do. Grew. The dreams the body grew. The mind sharpened. For a while, Okay. This is cool. Dreams of childhood. Okay, we're gonna the stick with grew. Urchin. We're gonna stick the with our pick sharpened. here. For a while, you excelled. We got... 
20 attack increases all damage with physical weapons, increases the chance of successfully lock picking a lock or disarming a trap. Uh, lore reveal hidden secrets. That's pretty good. Ability to influence others through dialogue can reveal important information and result diff. I think I'm going to go fix her here because I do want to play, you know, I want to play a Dreams rogue of childhood slip through your mind. And I was, I was debating was going through noble. What if you just do grew. noble, noble, the mind yeah, socialite. That's Dreams cool. Of the body but we're going to go fix her the here. Mind I want as many the dialogue mind. options Let's as sound. possible because that's what I like to play. Oh, you are your fucking kidding slip. me. The mistake was grave. The Inquisition had your scent. Bruh. There's more? Holy- okay. Just the character building already has gotten me excited for this game. Uh, Betrayed. 20 defense, 20 agility, increases movement speed and jump height. Pretty good. Spell cast. Increases the potency of spells and how quickly you can call upon them. I think for here... I'm going outlaw caster because I also want to fuck around with the magic. I'm not really interested in fucking hand to hand combat. I'm not even really interested that in any of the other, like any Bethesda game really, but I'm going to go spell casting here. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. This looks crazy. I might have to uh, up my sensitivity. Eh, that's pretty good. Hello, sir. You're dead. So classic uh, <laughs> oblivion start here. Just in a prison cell. Can we even leave? We can just leave. Okay. Interesting. What the fuck is that, dude? I'm going to be saying that a lot, probably, throughout this entire playthrough. What the fuck is this? Is that money? Hilford three coins. Sure enough. Mooney. Okay. Hello, sir. I'm just checking corners because I'm paranoid. Prisoner XVII. You've been marked for temporary release. The High Confessor will see you in the central chamber. Do not keep her waiting. Why am I being released? Who are you? <laughs> I'll get going then. Uh, why am I being released? Only the High Confessor can answer that, but I calculate there is an 8 in 10 chance you will be granted the honor of a glorious and sanctifying death. Cool. I still have more questions for you. Who are you? I was a prisoner like you. But the Inquisition, in its generosity, made me so much more. Cypher magic runs through my veins. My sins have been cleansed. I am a servant of the Inquisition now. Okay, very cool. Um, so in the bottom right, or bottom left there, you've got the health and magic. I don't know if that's stamina. Oh my god. Okay, that might have to change. Ooh, look at this screen. I like it. Oh, very Oblivion. I'm going to be comparing it to Oblivion because I've never played Morrowind. <laughs> Spells. Oh, I have certain spell slots. Okay, equipment. Usables. Okay. And then this. Delusions. Brief is everything. As your delusions grow, so does your power. Find enough glimmers of delusion by exploring the world or completing quests, and they will grant you full delusion. Delusions can be spent to increase one of your core attributes. Okay. Wisdom Persona Guile Might. Attack and defense. Lock picking and agility. Okay, cool. What is this? This is just stats, just in general. Spellcasting's 25, which is pretty good. 
considering my agility is 15. My attack is only five though, with all physical weapons. So does that include bows, archery? Hmm, we shall see. There's my class. And then what's this one? We haven't found the map charts yet. Okay, cool. I'm guessing these are quests. Uh, very cool. Oh, here it is. Okay, so let me go through this real quick and look for... Let me turn these down a little more. Field of view. Uh, we'll go 75 there. Um, controls is what I wanted. I wanted sh this control on. I am such a control crouch guy. Uh, okay. Switch weapon. Tap or hold Q. That's good to know. Switch item. Switch spell. Control. That's not good. Does that mean I... Oh, I seem to... Oh, look at that. On the, on the borders there, it gets a little... I'm sneaky. Sneaky beaky. Okay. Cool. Let's actually get into the game here. Hello, sir. You're an Iron Maiden. The device lurches on unstable legs, thick blood oozing from its seams with each shuddering movement. A woman's voice, hoarse and raspy, echoes from within the device. Your service is required, a prisoner. It's not my name. Am I going to take orders from a coffin? Uh, that's not my name. A crackle... Oh, uh, a cackle lapses into the sputter... Into a sputter of coughs. You forfeited the right to have a name when you betrayed... The... Apostatic Union? Apostic Union? I don't know. Uh... A number is all you deserve, but I offer you a chance of penance. An opportunity to atone for your vulgar crimes. I am the high confessor of this Inquisition uh, Combat Tribunal. We are tracking the most dangerous of criminals and you will help us. How exactly? There's no way I'm helping the Inquisition. What's in it for me? What is in it for me? She wheezes. You should be glad for such a righteous opportunity to serve penance. But success could bring benefits, even with even your freedom. So listen closely. Our target's whereabouts have been known for some time. A backwater archipelago on the very fringes of Union territory. Known as the... Orico... Onical? I can't fucking pronounce anything. Isles. Uh, these flying islands are host to a manner of outcasts and miscreants. We arrived, a, we arrived a few hours ago, but met with fierce resistance. Our target is the one is in the Blinding Light Fortress. The last remaining holdout of the Dark Star mercenaries. That's... Some cool fucking naming conventions, bro. <laughs> For our quarry is their leader, the notorious Vela Colosa. Yes, I have no choice. Never heard of her, Vela Colosa. This is suicide. Never heard of her. She's the daughter of Admiral Colosa. Groomed for command, but she set off on her own to find found to found a war band of thieves and pirates. The Dark Stars were tolerated in the Union until Vela became enthralled with delusions of grandeur. Claimed she could create some sort of heaven. Item gained Inquisition Journal. Started quest to hunt for Vela Close. Uh, before you go, take this Inquisition Journal. A mechanical arm thrusts a peculiar device in your direction. It will keep track of your mission. My drones can offer guidance and closer to the blinding light. Inquisitor F Ignatius uh, can assist you further. 
Oh, and don't try to run. These flying islands are unstable, and so, and many a fool has fallen to their death. Interesting. So that's who we're going for, and that's the map of the area. Okay. Maybe uh, I can talk her into killing herself. <laughs> like a... Like a fallout. Hello. Damaged doors can be broken with a weapon. There's a chest next to me. Pick up a sword and then press the inventory key to open your journal. Navigate to the equipment panel. And equip the sword onto one of your weapon slots. Yeah. Lastly, remember to press the attack key to unholster your weapon. Though this is a meager task, I calculate there is one in 20 chance you will somehow perish at the attempt. Fucking epic. That's a good rusty sword. And it wants me to, oh, equipped. There it is. Sup, fucker? Damn, damn, I didn't die. Can you believe that? Smug fuck. Oh, a potion. Health potion restores your health. This potion to burden. Cool. Does have something to say? Spells and quick items must be equipped in the equip menu before use. Once equipped, the spell to use spells. Press spell to use spells and items to use items. Wow. Good one. Uh, you can scroll through equipped items and switch item. Or spells with switch spells. So I believe that was okay. So did that? Okay. So Q put my sword away, but I remember Q being a different thing. Uh, e to interact. Uh, yep. Spell is right mouse button. Good to know. Item is R. Lock is F. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to change those. I'm going to switch those. Those are good. Uh, Holder tap Q to switch weapon. Switch item is Z. Switch spell is control. So what if I had that on X instead? That's good. Inventory tab. Okay, good. Cancel backspace around map. Okay, that seems to be it. Oh, this is airship controls. Okay, we'll get to that when we get to that. God damn, look at this game, dude. It's a little funky. I like it. Hello, everyone. I'm here. Oh, oh come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I suck. I suck so much ass. <laughs> oh, well. Can I happen this? No? Okay. Well, we're just going to continue onward like nothing happened. Hello, ghost. What do we have here? Another wretched soul caught in the Inquisition's web, no doubt. Tell me, has your high confessor sent you off to die? Are you a ghost? She smiles, gesturing at herself. Are you shocked by a little apparition? Her gentle laugh seems to echo around you. My, my, you won't get far if that's the case. <laughs> she gazes into the distance. Well, stranger, you'd best watch yourself out there. Mark my words, something's brewing on the uh, on these islands. The stage is set, the curtains drawn. The performance is set to bring the house down. She smirks at you and something tells you something tells me you have your own role to play. Okay, very cool, ghost. Have a good day. Uh I need to equip my health potion. That'd be good. Look at all these cool plants and the big shrooms. Very cool, very cool. This is glowing like it's interactable. Hey, money, 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 money. Skills. There are a number of skills that determine your effectiveness at certain tasks. Some are active skills, such as lockpicking or lore, which let you interact with objects in the world. Others are passive skills, such as def oh, 
defensive regen. Jesus. Uh, skill can be improved by increasing your delusion attribute that governs it with or with special equipment. Okay, cool. All right. Well, don't need a lockpick for this. Aha, can I hit these? Oh, I can. A throwing knife. Oh, sick. Uh, can I equip that in this slot? No. Is that a usable? It is. Okay. So what is usable? R, right? I think it was. I'm going to check the control so many goddamn times. Item is R. Okay, and then I have... Okay, Z. Okay, cool. You glimpsed a glimmer of delusion. There are four delusion attributes. The fundamental attributes which govern your skills. Might, wisdom, guile, and persona. To increase these attributes, you must find glimmers of delusion by exploring or completing quests. Very cool. Is there more over here? There is. I guess that goes to the thing, so might as well go this way. Okay, weird that my stamina is in the bottom left there, but it doesn't refill to full. Maybe I have to eat or something? See? Interesting. Uh, what is this? Stamina potion. I'm guessing that other one was a mana potion. Is this another health potion? Sure is. Cool, cool. What is this? Don't fucking know. <laughs> Excellent. Death. Powerful entity has taken an interest in you. By their grace, you will be plucked from the jaws of death and transported to a death shrine without losing items or progress. So I'm immortal. Very cool. I like being immortal in video games. It means I'm not bad. <laughs> Here's another three lockpicks. Cool. Another health potion over here. Ooh, what's up here? Oh, -ho, three more lockpicks. Excellent. Okay, I'm assuming these are the drones that she was talking about. Hello. The road ahead is patrolled by dark star mercenaries. I strongly recommend sneaking through the mushrooms and avoid combat. It's not that I doubt your skills, prisoner. I simply calculate a three in five chance you will die horribly. Remember, direct conflict is usually avoidable. Be on the lookout for ways to sneak through enemies. Interesting. What about you? Are you dead? You're just, you're just dead. Okay, what about this? Stealth. In many cases, combat is avoidable. Press stealth to toggle sneaking your footsteps won't will not make any sound alternatively you can sneak up behind an enemy to perform a stealth attack damage to unaware enemies will be multiplied very cool okay i am going to take their advice and fuck right off very good now this guy also died somehow i don't know what the fuck these this ambient sound is. Okay, I think that's good. I don't see anyone else. House is on fire. Anything over here? Ho oh, ho! More throwing knives? Gained throwing knife. Oh, I gained five of them. Very cool. Okay, there's a lot of dead people here. I kind of want to fight them, honestly. Whoa, okay, hold up. Combat! There's an old holster, unholstered weapon. The attack will perform a no more attack. Hold it for a slower, more powerful attack. Good to know. Oh, here is... Ammunition. Assortment of ammunition for ranged weapons required... Fire bows and the like. How does this... Whoa, okay. Fuck you. Get shit on! Get fucking shit on! Okay. Oh, money. Good. There's another drone here. Our agent is dying, but they might be of use. You may have to charm them to gain their trust. 
Agent may take some convincing. Uh, you have been a prisoner for some time. <laughs> I, can no I can no longer smell, but there's a high probability that you emit a foul stench. Success relies on your charm skill, which is derived from your persona attribute. Very cool. I'm just going to take this money and fuck right off if you don't mind. I'm just kidding. I'm talking to you. Are you one of the locals? He looks up and down in disgust. Look, just leave me be. I failed the Inquisition. I'd rather die in peace. Charm. I'm here to help. Your Inquis Inquisitor has tasked me with capturing Velo close. He lets out a weary chuckle that breaks into a cough. Oh my, I recognize you now. You're one of the prisoners. Gods, the Inquisitor must really be desperate. You know you're going to die, right? Those bastards wiped out a whole echelon. If you insist on the fool's errand, you might find some supplies at my cash drop pod, crash drop pod. Uh, follow the river upstream. And you should find it by the waterfall. Okay, cool. Follow the river upstream. You should find it by the waterfall. Hey, my man. My man. And a health potion. Hell yeah. And some throwing knives. Hell yeah. All right. Very cool. I love the sky. Having a non blue sky. It's always a good call for me. Just because it just makes things more interesting. There's more of that. Drop pod came in. We got just gold. Thank you for the three coins you just dropped in. Very good. Uh, hello, sir. Is this lockpicking tutorial? Some doors can be unlocked using the lockpick item. Your chance of success is governed by your lockpick skill, which is governed by your guile. If an attempt fails, one of your lockpicks will break. Very good. And then you will tell me the same thing. To progress, you must unlock this door. You will need a lockpick to begin. You should be fine. You should find an ample to supply next to me. Uh, when picking a lock, there is always a chance you will fail. The lockpick will break. The pick locks more easily. Increase your lockpicking skill. Mechanical locks are not the only security measure you will come across. There's an art to disguising secrets throughout magical means. Interesting. That was cool. I like that. Anything? No. Let's go upstairs. Oh, hello, sir. What is this lore skill? Some doors can be opened via hidden mechanics. A oh, mechanism. Uh, the secret switches require high enough lore skill and a small amount of mana to unlock. The lore skill is governed by your wisdom. You may be able to further increase it using special equipment. Hello, sir. In this room... Oh, excuse me. The candlesticks on the wall have been enchanted to seal a secret passageway. To dispel them, you need enough lore skill. Uh, the incarceration will also deplete your mana slightly. Oh, incantation. Jesus Christ. A single passageway may need several switches, so always be mindful of your surroundings. Very cool. Wow. Wow. Hey, baby. We out here. What is this? A heart. Status. Your current status is represented by the three new stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest in a bed or drink a potion. And here's another death thing. And I'm assuming this just says death again. Shrine, yeah. Cool. Okay, my max stamina has gone down. I believe. I don't know when that happened. But I think it happened regardless. What is up here? I will talk to you first. Inquisition <laughs> Ignavius uh, is waiting for you nearly uh, new in the nearby Inquisition column. Uh, we strongly recommend speaking in before wandering forth into highly probable demise. 
Okay. Hello, sir. I'm a prisoner tasked with helping you. As you approach, the Inquisitor takes a deep breath of air. You smell that prisoner? Engine grease, the smoke of battle, mushrooms, smoke of battle? Sniffs exactly twice. <laughs> I suppose there is a hint of that. But I was actually talking about he breathes in mushroom spores. He turns to you, beaming smile on his face. I've never seen this many mushrooms in my life. Such wild stalks. Such healthy gills. Are there gills on mushrooms? I know nothing about mushrooms. Uh, he takes a long breath. Ah, such a potent spore. Uh, we have mushroom forest back on Lundell, but nothing like this. He waggles a finger. Okay, hold on. Damn fine tea started. He waggles a finger at you while turning his gaze back to the mushrooms. Prisoner, if you get back alive, remind me to batch... Remind me to get a batch of scry shroom tea for my wife. They make it here in the Aneric Isles. I hear it's to die for. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. He slaps you on the shoulder. <laughs> That's damn good of you, prisoner. Ah, but where are my manners? He holds out his hand in greeting. Inquisitor Ignavius. Uh, of the 12th Inquisitional Tribunal, please to make your acquaintance. Shake his hand firmly, slap his hand away. Uh, shake his hand firmly. He grips your hand with equal firmness. I see I'm in good company, prisoner. He points at the fortress ahead. That's the blinding light. The fortress of Vela Close. Uh, leader of the Dark Star Mercenaries. The High Confessor told me you'd be joining the assault. And not a moment too soon. We need all the help you can get. I've sent all my agents, but so far none of them are reported back. We expected heavy fighting, but it seems those Dark Star ruffians are a tougher bunch than we gave them credit for. Your orders are to capture her alive. A tall order, I'll admit, but I think you're up to the job. So, any questions? Oh, tons, actually. Uh, how do I get in there? Uh, why do you see the big cannon looming overhead? I don't. Uh, that's part of the Blinding Light Fortress, and it's where you need to get to. Just stride into the main gate, making sure to slay any pesky dark stars that get in your way. Once you're in the compound, find the lick lift mechanism that will take you to the battlements. That's where Vela is holed up. Is there any way I can avoid bloodshed? The hunt for Vela. Oh, okay. Ah, the sneaky sword, are we? Well, you're just in luck. My agents reported that there is a side entrance to the right of the fortress, which leads to the maintenance tunnel of some sort. Uh, I'm sure the Dark Stars laid plenty of traps, but surely nothing you couldn't disarm with your deft hands, eh? Once you're inside, you can try to avoid detection by keeping to the walls. These are these old Gadward fortress forts have plenty of nooks and crannies. So just he puts a finger on his lips. Keep quiet and stay out of sight. Yes. Uh, what if I want to practice my combat skills? Well, we established a small boot camp of sorts just here. I always make sure to remind my combatant combat echelon of the fundamentals before a tricky mission. So you'll find plenty of target dummies and tutorial signs just below. I need to know about Vela in this mission. He nods. Yes, I'm sure if you have plenty of questions. What do you want to know? Here we go. God damn. Tell me about Vela and the Dark Stars. Vela Close. Now that's a name that'll make your hair stand on end. She's the daughter of Admiral Kalos and the uh, apost Apostocate uh, Union Navy. But instead of following her father's footsteps, she found Yeah, we know all that. Sure, she currently most wanted criminal in the Union, but she's got but you've got 
to give a hand to her. For years, the Union itself relied on Vela and her Dark Stars to do jobs the Navy were unwilling or unable to do themselves. Besides, it's a pity she turned down su uh, such a dark path. In the later years of the Dark Stars, their number of villainous deeds far exceeded those of noble intent. What of their villainy, then? Well, there's the Astral College heist in Boingye, uh, where they made off with an artificed star among with priceless treasures. Then there was the sinking of the merchant freighter Apenye, <laughs> and all those hostages slaughtered at the siege of Sarakaloko. I could go on. In the end, they say she lost the plot. Uh, started yammering about some sort of heaven. The Inquisition ruled this was tantamount to cultism. Article CXII <laughs> claims of a religious nature and warranted her arrest. Of course, I think the polymaths polymaths over in Rovia have wanted her gone long before all of this. Got too big for her boots, and finally, they had their warrant. Uh, even Vela's own mercenaries got so riled up and mutinied against her. She's been hiding out here for years, but the Inquisition finally got the go-ahead to make a move. So here we are. Why are you using prisoners like me? He grins. Ah, because righteous labor... <laughs> A rigorous labor is a tonic for the ills of one's mind. We're not like common judiciary back in Union Homeland, where prisoners are thrown into a pit with a scrap of moldy bread, no matter their crime. He taps his forehead. We recognize the twisted intellect of our guests, and we can untwist that reason within the right with the right application of punitive employment we will have enlightened the world just a little he clears his throat we're also authorized to use any method at our disposal when on a mission when a mission is going uh how do you say it in slev utters up interesting what do you think of the high confessor he strokes his chin many of the inquisition think that it a travesty that a confessor that is a prisoner still serving their penance. Oh, I didn't know that uh, has been granted control of the entire tribunal. Normally, it would be the job of the high inquisitor. Interesting. Indeed, there's also the nature of her crimes and how they relate to the very criminal she has been tasked with apprehending. But personally, I think despite her quirks, she's proved herself as one of the most accomplished agents within our ranks. Uh, about the mission, splendid, what else? Okay, guess I'll get going. He beam he smiles beamed. As the spirit as oh god. Ah, that's the spirit prisoner. I'm sure you'll make short work of these ruffians. And when you're done, be sure to check in with me after the mission. I've taken quite an interest in the in these aisles of late, and I'm sure I can fill you in with plenty of useful tidbits. Interesting. Okay. Very dialogue heavy, which is not what I was expecting, honestly. Uh, a lot of people were saying that this is like very exploration focused and everything. What is this? Members of Delusion. Okay, I guess if you didn't find that first one. Very cool. Okay, is that a bad guy? I don't even know. Um. Oh, look at that. Is that just flowers? Might just be flowers. Okay, what is this? 
Resting in bed recovers health, stam and maximum stamina best cheaply rented at inns. You may also find unattended beds throughout the world. However, some are unsafe and you will be taking a chance resting in them. Ooh, maybe I should do that. Oh, yo, that's sick. That's the sun and then that's the night. Oh, cool. We'll do that one then. Give us more daytime. Wow, interesting. What is this now? Crystal points. Crystal points will restore your mana. Use the home spell to return to the last crystal point visited. You will also appear at the last crystal use crystal point when loading the game. Interesting. Return home. Teleportation spell. Very cool. Okay, and then there is combat tutorial up here. Tutorial galore. Uh, your attacks, uh, damage depends on your current stamina. Oh, wow. The lower your stamina, the less damage you'll do. That's interesting. Your maximum stamina will also deplete slowly over time. If it reaches half of its original value, you will become fatigued, temporarily reducing all stats. Maximum stamina can be re restored by sleeping in a bed or using a stamina potion. Stamina is very important. Okay. Six damage. And then... Okay. Okay, that's cool. Uh, hold the block, reduce incoming enemy damage. If you time a block just as the enemy attack lands, you will parry it. Successful parries negate all damage and will stagger the enemies. Blocking and parrying are not possible when your stamina is empty. Oh, blocking takes a lot of stamina. Alright. Oh, okay. Fuck you. Okay, I got it. Okay, very weird. Okay, that's gonna take forever to get down, I'm sure. Ah, uh, see? Let's see how much it takes. Okay, not bad. Interesting. Pairing is going to take some getting used to. Hello, ghost. See that looming fortress? It's struck fear into the hearts of many who have, are braver and stronger than you, stranger. It was made in the God War. Jesus Christ. So the apostates... Apostates... Uh, named it the Blinding Light to ridicule the gods they plan to butcher. Ironic that it should fall to the hands of someone so blinded by ambition and zeal, for Vela has claimed it in a pursuit of her own twisted heaven, and the Blinding Light now turns its guns towards the faithless souls who made it. Her spectral eyes glisten. Tell me, stranger... If a hated enemy stood between you and your most cherished ideal, would you strike them down? Would you have the arrogance to take a life in pursuit of your fantasy? Uh, yes, I would kill for my beliefs. At least you're honest sort. You're the honest sort. And you're hardly alone. The Sky Realms are stained with the blood of those who stood on the wrong side of history. Even the gods proved fallible in the end. Still, I fear in the world, in a world such as this, such a heart will only see you dead in a gutter by the sword of someone far less scrupulous. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, very cool. I am liking this game so far. I can't, I heard it. It's an open world game, obviously. I cannot wait to get to that. Is there anything over here? Aha, there is a dead man and some coins, along with some ammunition and a plant. Plant that I can take. Eye of Paguth. 
Flower shaped oddly like an eyeball can be used in an alchemy ingredient, legendary god Pegu. Uh, this herb is well known for its healing properties and is used as medicine across the... Okay. So that, if I remember correctly, uh, yes. Brewed from the eye of Pergo Herb. Very cool. Uh, I will also put on that stamina potion and then I can just cycle through these. Good. Okay. So I think I'm going to end it there. A lot of tutorial, a lot of things to do. But man, I really like this world we're stepping into. Very cool. Very interesting. I can't wait to get to the open world aspect of it. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.